Hi, this is Rika. Welcome to this class. This is a beautiful morning or afternoon stretch whenever you have a few minutes to stretch your body, to get some twisting in, some neck stretching, shoulder opening, a little bit of hip opening as well. We will get started in a comfortable seated position, easy pose or whatever is available for you right now. I invite you to take a deep breath through your nose, maybe close your eyes or soften your gaze. Find into your body, focus on your breathing. Maybe try to have a little longer exhalations than your inhalations. Feel into any sensation happening in your body. Just notice and maybe let it go with your exhaling. And keep your eyes closed or open them now and with your next inhale through the sides reach your arms up towards the sky interlace your fingers and place them behind your head your elbows point out your chest comes up a little bit keep your core engaged inhale here and exhale around your back bring your elbows together you can gaze towards your navel Inhale, look up, reach your elbows to the sides, maybe looking up or to the front, chest comes out, core stays engaged. Exhale, elbows together around your back. Inhale, come back. Exhale, round your back, elbows come together. Inhale, come up. Really place your head into your hands, your elbows point out. Stay here, exhale here, and release your arms to your sides. We move into Dandasana's death pose. So straighten your legs to the front, flex your feet, your back is straight. You can roll your shoulders back one time. Then bend your right knee towards your chest, place your right foot on the outside of your left thigh, bend your elbow around your right knee, so your left elbow comes around your right knee, your right hand comes towards the back of your mat, you twist towards the right, really inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, twist a little bit more. If it's comfortable for your neck, you can even try to look towards the back. Inhale, come back to center, place your right foot on the inside of your left thigh, open up your hips, inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, reach towards the side, towards your left foot, left toes. Your right arm is really reaching above you, maybe your left hand comes on the outside of your left foot, maybe your right hand touches your left big toes really try to open your upper body towards the side keep your hips on the mat underneath you so come only as far as they can stay down inhale come back into center release your arms 
and come back to center with your hips. Your right foot comes onto your left hip crown. So you place your right leg into half lotus legs. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend your right arm around your back, lower back, and maybe it touches the toes from your right foot, from the back, and then your left hand comes onto your right knee. Twist open towards the right. Again, if you want, you can look as far back as it's comfortable for your neck. And keep your front toes or front foot flexed. Inhale, release your arms, come back into center, extend your arms up towards the sky and then with a straight back fold over your left thigh. Keep your neck in a straight line with your back. Maybe you can touch your heel, maybe you can touch your ankle, maybe your shin. Whatever you can, that's fine for today. Inhale, come back to center, reach your arms up, release your right leg towards the front, balance out your hips. Exhale, fold over both thighs into seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana, maybe grab the outside of your feet or again the ankles or the shins or wherever your hands, hands land on the outside of your legs. Again, keep the neck in the extension of your spine. Your back is straight at this moment. Inhale, reach your arms up. Bend your left knee towards your chest. Place your left foot on the outside of your right thigh. And then bend your right arm around your left knee. Your left hand comes on the, to the back of the mat and you twist open towards the left. Again, inhale, elongate your spine, exhale, twist a little bit more. With your inhale, come back into center, release your left foot into the out inside of your right thigh, opening your hip open. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, reach your arms towards the front. Maybe your right hand comes onto the outside of your right foot. Reach your left arm above your head all the way towards the side. Maybe you can come to touch your big toe on the right side. If not, that's totally fine. Keep your hips on the mat underneath you and really breathe into the side body here. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Inhale, come back up, rotate your hips inward, place your left foot on your right hip groin into half lotus pose. Inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, place your left arm around your lower back, maybe touching the toes, your right hand comes onto your left knee, twist open towards the left. 
with every inhale elongate your spine with every exhale maybe twist a little bit more if you want to look back and it's comfortable for your neck feel free to do so otherwise you can also look towards the side Inhale, come back to center, reach your arms up above your head towards the sky. Exhale, fold over your right thigh, maybe touching your shin, your ankle or your foot. Keep a long neck here and a straight back. Inhale, come back to center, release your left leg towards the front, balance out your hips, inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, fold over both thighs into Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. Again, wherever your hands land, that's fine, your neck is in the extension of your spine. With every inhale, you can come out a little bit, elongating your spine, and exhale, fold a little bit more. Inhale, come back to center. Sit a little bit more to the center of your mat, and then Rock back with your knees in your chest. Rock a few times until you can come all the way into yogi squat. Like this. <laughs> a little bit smoother maybe for you as my space is going a little bit upward. It was a little bit more difficult for me today. Place your elbows onto your knees. Straighten your back, your knees go in the same direction as your feet. Inhale here and with your exhale place your right hand on the outside of your mat and inhale reach your left arm up. With every exhale you can again twist a little bit more, maybe you want to come into a bind. Try to use your whole feet to stand on, so you're not using only the inside or the outside. Try to lift your toes a little bit. Inhale, straighten your arms if you were in a bind, and then exhale, come back into center. Inhale here, exhale, place your left hand onto the outside of your mat, reach your right arm up towards the sky into a twist maybe you come all the way into a bind on this side as well try to keep your knees in the same line with your feet even when you do the bind With your next inhale, straighten your arms if you were in a bind and exhale, come into prayer hands. Place your hands underneath your shoulders in front of you and then jump back into high plank. From here, shift your weight forward over your wrists and then chaturanga all the way to the mat underneath you. Straighten your left hand or left arm all the way towards the front. Your right hand comes onto your fingertips on the outside of your mat in the head of your shoulder. Bend your 
right knee and then twist open towards the right so that your right foot comes all the way on the outside of your left mat left side of the mat you can place your head onto your upper arm onto your left upper arm Take some deep belly breaths here. And then inhale, come back to center. Keep your right leg bent and reach for your right foot with your right arm. Bring your heel towards your buttocks. If you want, you can place your forehead onto the mat underneath you. With your next exhale, release your leg, release your arm towards the front. So your right arm is also straight in front of you. Bend your left hand to the outside of the mat. And then bend your left knee towards your buttocks and reach towards the right. So you're twisting onto the other side here. Place your Head onto your right upper arm this time. And take some deep belly breaths here. Inhale, come back to center, keep your knee bent and then grab your left foot with your left hand, bring your heel towards your buttocks. If you want to place your forehead on the mat, feel free to do so. And with your next exhale, release your leg, release your arm to the front. Place both hands in the head of your breast. Tuck your toes under. We will reverse our chaturanga. So lift yourself all the way up into high plank. Jump to the front of the mat into Malasana Yogi Squat again. One inhale here. And then exhale, sit back onto the mat. Your feet come onto the mat in front of you and then lower yourself all the way down into supine pose. Maybe you want to go as slow as possible to really engage your core here. And when you find your way on the mat, then bring your heels as close to your buttocks as possible so you can maybe tickle your heels with your fingers. Place your hands, palms down onto the mat underneath you so to the side of your body we will lift off one time into bridge pose so with your next inhale lift your hips up stay here take a few deep breaths here keep your thighs parallel to each other your chin away from your chest really press into the space underneath your eyes in the back of your head One more inhale here, come a little bit higher and exhale slowly, vertebra by vertebra, come all the way back down onto the mat underneath you. Straight, lift your legs up towards the sky. You can flex your feet or keep your feet just hanging there. Into legs to wall pose. Really enjoy keeping your feet up for a while. Mm -hmm. 
with your next inhale bend your knees bring your hips up a little bit place your hands onto your lower back your elbows are in a straight line with your shoulders and then lift your legs up towards the sky into shoulder stand your forearm uh, your upper arms are parallel to each other you can walk your hands a little bit more down towards the middle of your back if it's comfortable for you again keep your chest away from your chin so you have a little space in between your chest and your chin reach your feet up maybe you want to point your toes here one more breath here and with your next exhalation bend your knees bring your hips slowly slowly back onto the mat underneath you open up your hips or open up your knees your hands from the inside of your knees come to the outside of your feet into happy baby maybe you want to rock from side to side a little bit and slowly find stillness try to keep the pelvic floor on the mat underneath you so you're not lifting up here With your next exhale, bring your knees back together. Your hands come around your right chin. Your left leg comes straight to the front. And then guide your right knee towards the left side. Maybe you want to bring your right hand into a right arm into a cactus arm. And look towards the right. Keep your right shoulder on the mat. And try to come into a deep twist here with airy inhalation. Creating some space in your upper body with every exhalation, bending or twisting a little bit more. want to close your eyes feel free to do so really enjoy this deep twisting inhale come back to center bring both knees towards your chest and interlace your hands around your left shin and straighten your right leg all the way towards the front of the mat guide your left knee to the outside of your of the right side of your mat and then your left arm comes into cactus or straight to the side you can look towards the left or up keep your left shoulder on the mat underneath you with every breath Come a little bit deeper into the stretch, into the twist. With your next inhalation come back into center bring both knees towards your chest maybe lift your head squeeze everything together maybe even squeezing your face and then exhale release all your body parts onto the mat underneath you your legs 
fall towards the side, your knees fall, uh, your feet fall outward, your hands face the sky. Maybe you want to come a little bit wider with your arms this time so you can feel a little bit more space in between your armpits. Releasing every single part of your body and your face, all the muscles relax down, melting into the mat underneath you. Every muscle in your arms, in your chest, in your back, in your hips, in your legs and in your feet. Feel the back of your head melting into the mat underneath you. You can either stay here for a little longer or you let me guide you out of it. So bring your knees towards your chest. Bring your hands onto your shins and then slowly bring your feet onto the mat underneath you. Roll yourself up. Stay one or two breaths here. Just bring the blood all the way into your body again. And then come into a comfortable seated position. Bring your hands into your heart center, palms touching. Nod your head towards your fingertips. Namaste.